Today, I got a PvE build for Titans that makes you nearly immortal. Void 3.0 is one of the best subclasses in Destiny 2, so in this video, I'm gonna break down some exotics and mods that'll let you shred through anything. To embrace the Void, the first thing you wanna grab is the Graviton Lance. This exotic is like the Cougar of Pulse Rifles, cause against all odds, it's both old and sexy. When you headshot an enemy, they blow up and leave behind little purple jumping beans that bounce around and explode. When those start popping off, they can wipe out an entire group all on their own. When you combine that with the Fragment's Echo of Undermining and Echo of Instability, hitting a target with a grenade is gonna apply the weakened debuff, and when they die, Graviton Lance gets volatile rounds for the next 10 seconds. Weakened makes targets take 15% more damage, and with Volatile Active, Old G Lance is racking up bodies like it just left a bad relationship. We're gonna be leaning heavy into the power of that grenade, and to make that happen, you wanna bust out the Heart of Inmost Light. Heart of Inmost Light is my favorite Titan exotic, and it's the backbone of the ability engine we're putting together. When you use any ability, the other two become empowered. That raises their damage, makes your barricades more beefy, and anything that's empowered is cooling down faster than some liquor in the freezer. Now every time you chuck a grenade, you can throw up a wall, Captain America your shield, and know you're just a short wait from having it back. When you put on the Aspects Bastion and Offensive Bulwark, you and your team get an overshield for dropping your barricade, and whenever you have one, your grenade's getting a fat recharge bump in the background. That stacks with the empowered buff from the Heart of Inmost Light, and to carry on that idea, you want to put on Harmonic Siphon and Echo of Starvation. With those equipped, you're going to spawn an orb of power when Graviton Lance gets a double kill. Picking that up activates Devour, which instantly fills your health and gives you a chunk of grenade energy back for every enemy you put in the ground. That's the best survivability buff in the game, and don't forget, popping your bubble gives you the full charge back too. With all of that combined, you can keep an overshield up forever, with a grenade every couple of seconds, and you're gonna spam abilities like a warlock that just ripped a fat line of advanced GG. To push your damage even further, it's time to slot the mods Swift Charge and Taking Charge. Taking Charge and Swift Charge give you easy ways to get a damage buff rolling. When you get a multi-kill with Graviton Lance or pick up an orb of power, the Charge with Light buff pops up on the left side of the screen. From there, throw on stacks on stacks to get two stacks instead of one, and high energy fire to buff the damage of all your weapons by 20%. That'll consume a charge whenever you get a weapon kill, and it makes a never-ending cycle of becoming and spending charge with light. High energy fire stacks with the weakened debuff from your grenade, which means your guns are gonna shred these motherfuckers to pieces. And since we're talking about them, we might as well go over what to run in your kinetic and heavy slot. For your kinetic weapon, literally anything that stuns a champion is going to be the big brain play. Depending on when you're watching this, that could be any number of weapons, so check the activity you're about to run and slot something that makes sense. In your heavy slot, linear fusion rifles are 100% my recommendation, and the real MVP is the Cataclysm from the Vow of the Disciple Raid. You want to look for a roll with 4th times the charm and bait and switch, because the synergy they give is nothing short of insane. Just hit something with your other two weapons, then swap to your linear fusion to get a 20% damage buff, and every four crits you land are gonna load two magical f***ing mystery bullets straight into the magazine. To start an engagement, smack something in the face with your grenade, drop a barricade for the overshield, and start putting in work with Graviton Lance. As things die to the weakened nade, volatile rounds procs, and now your purple jumping beans start acting like nukes. You're gonna become charged with light over and over while you blow fools up left and right. You want to stick close to your wall to keep your overshield active while you cycle through your abilities, and against high health targets, just get your damage buffs rolling and lay waste. Bait and switch stacks with high energy fire and the weakened debuff, and when it's all said and done, that's 55% extra damage from your heavy. Literally nothing in the game can live through that. Even in Grandmaster content, you can mop the floor with champions and bosses no problem. But as disgusting as this is, there's something that takes everything we've got and kicks it up even further. To perfect the loadout, the absolute perfect thing you can put on is Radiant Light. This mod makes nearby allies charge with light whenever you pop your Ward of Dawn bubble. Remember earlier when we put on Swift Charge? Because they're both arc charged with light mods, having them together means they activate each other's secondary perk. That's free special ammo for your team for slaying out with G-Lance, and from Radiant Light you're gonna get a fat 20 extra strength. More melees means even more weakened grenades, and whether you're running Grandmasters or just slaying out in Gambit, you're gonna rip a hole through anything in your way. And real quick, I put together a Gambit build that you don't want to miss. To check that out, just click the card on the right. Thanks for watching.